talk whack to me, talk whack to me, yeah. talk whack to me, talk whack to me. So some other stories, some other news did happen, and I'm gonna get into one uh, topic that is kind of similar to the Will Smith situation. If you ask me, as far as like um, just having your mental uh, capacity <laughs> be challenged with so me- so much being thrown at you, and that you kind of maybe snap for a second or you can't handle it. Uh, of course, I'm talking about Doja Cat. Of course, like 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 that was so obvious. But I'm talking about Doja Cat, man. So yeah, she said she's quitting rap. She was um, doing a show. I guess the show got canceled. There was some issues with the weather condition. I forgot where it was at, but yeah. The way it doesn't really matter, just the fact that the fans kind of snapped on her, spazzed out on her, went off on her, um, and I think she was being called like racial slurs and all type of stuff uh, for the perform- for the performance. Um, I think either the performance was canceled or I don't know she was later and it, they didn't think the performance was good. Now, Doja Cat originally or initially came out and was all like, ah, I'm sorry for that. I'm going to make it up to you guys. But then I guess just some of the hate just was too much for her. And when she went off, said, I don't care no more. I'm done with this. I don't know why I thought I could ever do this. And I quit. And she's pretty much saying she quit rap. I guess is what everybody's coming to. And I want to look, uh, take a look back at Doja Cat's career so far. You know, try to kind of dissect this. Because, you know, when she first came in, uh, she was doing more like, I guess, goofy rap. Like funny stuff. That's kind of how she got her recognition, is being like the, the wacky girl, makes the wack, the wacky videos, and, you know, has a fun, good time. She didn't take it, you know, not taking herself too seriously. Uh, and so right off the bat, it is kind of different from what most, you know, in the hip hop culture would appreciate, you know, in the pop realm, which I think she's kind of gained that lane. That's very accepted. Um, but that, that, but problem with Doja, she, I think she doesn't really feel that it's accepted. You know, there was that thing about people were calling her racist. She hates her own self. Uh, I think she even put a black person in one of her videos as a love interest because people were saying she doesn't like black men. And I feel like since she's got on, since she's came up and gotten bigger, she's had to constantly defend herself. She's had to defend her blackness. And even now we're seeing defending her status as a rapper. Which I don't even know if she calls herself a rapper. I think it's up to her. But Remy Ma was on Drink Champs and she said she doesn't consider Doja Cat a rapper, but she said she is dope. She does like her. She just doesn't think she's a rapper. And you had a lot of people come out and talk about that. Some saying, oh, she is a rapper. Are you talking about she raps on all her songs or almost all her songs? And there's some other people saying, well, no, she, you know, she may rap, but she's not a rapper. She, you know, she does some rapping. To which I say, like, who are you to decide? Some people say the beats that she chooses to make her a rapper. I'm like, who are you to decide that what beats make you a rapper? If you if you want to rap on whatever beat you want to rap on, you're a rapper. If, if that's what you consider yourself. If Doja doesn't consider herself a rapper, if she can, if she wants to, a, a broader term like an artist, then that's fine. But you know, to me, I hear I wouldn't be offended if I saw her on a rapping a rapping list because I think she she gets busy when she does rap and she does rap. And she's a rapper on top of whatever else she is. If she, if she doesn't like to just be labeled a rapper, she wants to be labeled a musician or an artist because she does sing as well. And, you know, and she likes to have fun with her music. I, I get that. But I don't think that you just dismiss her rapping ability because, well, she doesn't make the type of music that you like or what you normally would consider to be rap music, not, not made on rap beats, you know. And of course, I had a huge crush on Doja Cat, um, so you might think I'm being biased, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I actually looked at this, and I say had hey, because you know she got she lost a lot of weight, man. I like to I like to earlier when she's a little thicker, I like that thick Doja. But you know, she she she's happy with it. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so she's always had to defend her position, and I think that. When it comes to stuff like, is she a rapper? Does she like black people? Is she racist? I think, and now, you know, her fans are turning against her. It, it can be tough. A lot of times we do forget, you know, like Lil Xan, he just, he just had to go to a psych ward and now he's going to rehab because he had 
he got tired of people talking about him and and I do understand and and look and, 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 and look at Will Smith. He got he got tired of people talking about him and he did the absolutely wrong thing. Uh, but it I, I can understand where Will Smith coming from. I can understand where Doja Cat and Lizanne coming from where it does hurt to hear these things. It does hurt to be ridiculed and talked about all day long. And you can't even really appreciate what you got going on for you sometimes when you wanna stay in that social media realm and wanna be a part of that because you hear so many negative things from people. Everybody isn't built for it. And she says she's not built for it. I will say this, though. You are a public figure. You put yourself in the public eye. Public things are going to happen. Does that excuse negativity and nastiness? No, of course not. And that should be checked. And people are checking. People did check um, fans. But that. But the, the thing is, you can't stop that. And it does come with the business. And, you know, I hope Doja doesn't quit. I like Doja. I like a lot of her songs out here. You know, I think she's a very talented artist, very creative. I mean, she has a good ear for the type of sounds that 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 sound good and, and stuff that could be hits her and her team. So I hope she doesn't quit. But for her own health, if that's what she needs to do, if she really cannot handle this negativity and the viciousness of people online and, you know, people just commenting on her life, then, of course, you, you should step away and try to find something that's not as public. But that is the public life, you know. That is what's going to happen when you put yourself out there for the people. When you put make yourself public for the people, they're going to respond however they respond. And, of course, you know... I'm never, you know, I'm never going to say it's okay to be mean and nasty and, and vicious to people, but that is what happens. You can't stop it. And you have to be aware of that is what's going to happen when you want to go out in public, when you want to be a public, when you, be, when you want to be famous. So yeah, just, you know, much love, respect to Doja Cat. I hope you feel better and I hope you don't quit. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Uh, uh, uh.